Yo, 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 what it is, what's up? It's your girl, Nikki Nix, coming to serve you love. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode. Oh my gosh, Nikki, you're here again. It's your girl, Adi Nix Nix on the beat today. I am super excited to see all your faces. Yes, 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 yes. I can see through the screen. Yes, hi. <laughs> like your black, red, green top that you're wearing right now. Today, for the eyes, I am going to be doing something really fun. Then I'm going to be trying a new ish foundation for you watching me because you've never really seen me use it ever on this channel. But before we transcend into the next part of this video, what I'm going to tell you is that thank you, Jesus. It's an ad. This video is sponsored by Juvia's Place. Daddy, mommy, you see the perineum. For every sponsored video, Video, I will be doing a giveaway the last video I wasn't able to choose a giveaway winner because I wasn't sure how to contact you they were scammers or fraudists or scammers I'll just call them scammers because the word scammers is too is too easy there were a bunch of scammers that came created fake accounts of the people that won the giveaway and were attacking me on Instagram they were like give us a package give us a package you all this yours that not knowing that the person had already contacted me and I had already like confirmed that this is the person that i chose i do not want to be cheated and in turn would affect your cheatation because i'll say you won and then i'll say oh but i already give it to somebody else not us this argument i'm like nigga is not a good person she used to learn and i don't want to i don't i don't want to be a victim of the scammers so i decided to withhold the giveaway and the new way that i will be choosing the giveaway is on instagram because instagram is just easier i can go to your account immediately and send you a dm before making the announcement i'm gonna post a picture on my page of the look that that i'll be creating today go to my instagram page and then comment below and say something nice about the makeup or whatever there i'll be choosing two winners one for the last video and one for this video today i'm gonna be trying out two of the eyeshadow palettes the first i'm gonna be using is the zulu eyeshadow palette by juvia's place my absolute favorite which is the nubian 3 coral palette i'm also gonna be trying their foundation their i am magic foundation and their i am magic concealer but let's get into the video i don't know what the unit is gonna work for this eyeshadow so I'm just gonna start with the eyes and the reason why I'm saying I don't know what the universe is gonna hold for this eyeshadow is because the universe is choosing my eyeshadow colors using the number generator dum, 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 dum. can you focus and not just spoil my dramatics please the number generator dun, 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 dun. as you can see the maximum is 21 why is it 21 nix maximum was 21 because of these reasons so i took the two palettes and i joined them together like this as you count there's three here and there's four here so that's four plus three which is seven and then seven times three which is 21 i'm gonna do it like one two three four then then five is that red one, then six is the yellow, then seven is the orange. I'm gonna be choosing five colors, so let's do this. The first number the universe chooses is number five. Really? Universe? It's fine, wherever. Universe chose orange. Next number, generator 17. Ooh, this is exciting. The universe chose sparkly peach. Next number, the universe chose seven thank you jesus seven is the number of perfection this is a confirmation the universe chose the brown shade next is 15 the universe chose faded peach next number i'm supposed to be writing it down how would i remember nix you know how your brain is i'm actually loving these colors so far there's one more for the universe to choose the universe chose Two. The universe chose gray. How are we going to add gray to all that one now? Oh Lord. So let's get into this eyeshadowation creation of the look. Are you ready to see this magic? I'm definitely gonna perform because I don't know. I'm gonna mix all these colors together. Together. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is to prime my eyelid. But one thing that I've been doing right away is before priming my eyelid, I usually wipe off any excess concealer that is on there 
just to allow the whites of the primer stand out really well so i'm gonna be starting off with the faded peach in my above crease just to create a very nice blending gradient awesome sauce still looking crazy but still awesome sauce so the next color that will be performing on my eyes today as per the universe choosing is orange i'm gonna place that directly over that pinkation now to reduce the craziness the brownation is gonna perform its duties right now the brown is coming through, 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 through. this brown here which the universe did not choose for me this one is a true brown it's gorgeous and amazing i love that brown so much this brown on the other hand it's not a strong deep brown it's a very nice transition brown so i'm just gonna be patting on this brown and just intensify the the brownation of it all so i'm just gonna keep layering it okay so now that we're done with this situation it's time for us to go in with the odd one out the gray are probably like oh my gosh nicks how are you gonna get that great to work for you i'm kind of afraid so what i'm gonna do now is to stop this sad ish thing that i'm about to do and just do like a cut crease i believe that a cut crease will really help bring out the beauty of the gray so i'm going in a little bit with the brown the tan brown I'm just gonna use her to close the cut crease I actually like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I really do so now I'm gonna be adding the gray gradually to see what it gives me just slightly in front and then into the brown I love that hey, gray you're coming true you're really coming true I doubted you but here you are surprising me cause you are a star I love you, Gray. You stole my heart. So I'm not gonna go directly to the front front because I like the white starting and then the gray and then the brown. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of the brown at the end and then try to bring it a little bit into that gray so it looks very gradiented. Now take a look at that. Yes. Y'all are probably like Nix. What of the sparkling peach? Well, um, the sparkling peach is gonna come true right now. I'm gonna mix some of the sparkly peach into my petri dish. Is it really a petri dish? I'm just, am I just trying to speak English? I think it's English. I'm then gonna mix that with a little bit of durlin. So there we are. Beautiful, right? I love that gray. It's so odd, but it's so nice. <laughs> Going in with my Ewa Ronke eyeliner, her eyeliner. I will not be next if I'm not extra. I feel like I want to add a little bit of this color in the middle of my eyeliner. Should I do it? If it doesn't work, I'll just go over it. But let me try. It won't hurt, you know. What I'm going to use to finalize this look because it's kind of looking incomplete in my eyes is to go in with that peachy sparkly. I'm going to place that right here just to highlight this area of my eye. Perfection on the high. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm loving this eye look. I hope you guys are loving this eye look as much as I am because it's like. <laughs> Universe, thank you. It's just it's okay. time for me to use the foundation. Ojuvia's uh, place sent me five foundations. They sent me Senegal. Then from Senegal, they sent me Chad. Then after Chadinsky, they took me to Mali. Then from Mali, I flew all the way to Angola. Then upon getting to Angola, I was like, wow, I have one more destination. Let me go all the way back to Nigeria and just visit where my ex-boyfriend is from. Kano. The one that looks the best on me is Chad mixed with Mali. So before I used to go with Mali because it just looks really good. But I noticed that Chad kind of picks my deep undertones and then Mali plays on the lighter parts of my face. 
so i'm just gonna tap some chads right here these foundations are actually amazing and what i love about them is that they're actually really really affordable like there are a lot of foundations on the market that are this good but they charge an arm and a leg mm, 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 mm. my english is thick they charge an arm and a leg so now i'm gonna add mali over that to give me the brownation of my skin And I won't lie to you, this is the first time that I'm doing this mix. I have tried Chad on its own and I have tried Mali on its own. I just thought that this would really work well with my skin. So let me blend that in. It does. Yay. Mix on the beats. Mix on the beats. Yay. The mix is really nice. Right? Right? Look at that. Yes, y'all. Can you see how we instantly covered that area? No mark, no nothing. You honestly don't even need this much. But what I love about it is that it actually hides a bit of my pores, which is amazing too. So when I take pictures, it's it looks really, really good. And it's just 20 US dollars. Look at that. Look at that. So good. It's so good. So I'm just going to take whatever extra is left on the beauty blender. And I'm just going to do that to my forehead. Okay, so I think I put a lot of chad. Because this is my first try, I'm going to reduce the chad. Maybe just one chad and three malis. I think that would work way better for me. But I'm going to keep using this foundation. So I'm going to definitely learn the mix that works perfectly for me. Look at that. Pores disappear. So now that I'm done with the mixation, I would be using the concealer that they gave me. They gave me six concealer shades. The ones that I use often are one, three, and eight. And then the other ones that I have is seven, two, and five. And I'll be using the number eight to highlight my face. I did reach out to them to send me more, like to send me lighter shades so I can use to highlight my face, but I don't want to disturb them. I ask, where is it? So I just let it go. What I love about the concealer is that it blends like a dream, which is amazing. I love this concealer. It doesn't crack under the eye. I have tried using their foundation under my eye before, but it actually cracked under my eye. So the foundation is not to be used as a, as a highlighting concealer. So just stick to using the concealer instead of the foundation. I learned the hard way. Look at how it just blends really nicely. Like my face looks really nice, right? So I'm going in with my Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer just to brighten that under eye up so that it doesn't just become too dark when I set my face. Okay, so I'm going to set my face now with the Fenty Beauty Powder. I would allow my face to set a bit, fix up my eyebrows, and then I'll be back to just finalize the video. Oh, spirit, Beyonce is my best friend. Open, 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 open. Hi, guys. So this is the look a la finale. What do you guys think? I absolutely love how this makeup turned out. I can't believe that I'm really feeling peachy today. Loving the, I, the eyes is just like, you'll be fast, thank you. I didn't know what to do to the bottom of my eyes. That's why you can see a bit of uh, struggulation. But it's fine. Today's not about the bottom, it's about the top. I absolutely love this look. I want this one to share. In fact, I'm just gonna do my outro bending down like this. I absolutely love this so, 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 Thank you guys so so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed what you see I hope that I was able to play with you a bit Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share this love with your friends, families, enemies and everybody in this world Yes honey Adios amigos, catch you another time Peace